My name is Tuli and today I will take you through a user training directed to the hiring managers in Team Taylor. We will start by having a look at the general navigation of the platform, set up your personal profiles and then look at how you can collaborate inside a job with your hiring team. Let's get started. When you first log into the Team Taylor platform, you will land onto the dashboard that you can see on my screen now. From here, on the top left corner, you'll be able to find your main navigation buttons, jobs, candidates, and promotions. On the right hand side, you will have some quick actions. You can set up to do's for yourself as a reminder. These to do's can also come straight from your job processes. You can see all your messages that you've had with the candidates. You can see your upcoming meetings in the meetings tab as well as your notifications. On the top right hand side is where you can get to your personal profile and that is something that we're going to have a look at next. To get to your profile you will need to click onto the icon on the top right corner. From there, once you go to edit your profile, you'll firstly be able to fill in some of your personal details. You can also write yourself a short bio that can be visible for the candidates as part of the job ads or on your career site. The next section will be your meetings tab. In the meetings tab, you can connect your personal calendar with Team Taylor so that you can start scheduling interviews with candidates. On this page, you will firstly find a button called Connect Your Calendar. Once you click onto that, you will get a pop-up where you can choose your calendar provider and agree to some terms and conditions. Once it has been successfully connected, it will look like this. You will firstly be able to choose the video services that you want to use as part of your interviews. And then here where you can see all these pink boxes is where you can set your team tailor availability. So for example, let's say if you have a lunch break every single day at the same time, you can block candidates from being able to book you in for interviews during those hours. In addition to that, you can also limit the number of your daily meetings as well as your weekly meetings. In the next tab, you will be able to customize what kind of notifications you would like to receive and where you would like to receive them. You will have the option of emails, viewing them on the desktop, which will be here, or if you're using the Team Taylor mobile phone app, you can also receive notifications there. These notifications are always customizable for you, so if you feel that you're getting too much or not enough, you can come and make edits. The last step of editing your profile will be to customize your email signature, which you can do in the settings tab. Here you will also be able to customize your personal language and time settings if you want to work on a different language that, for example, your company's default language is. Next we will have a look at the jobs tab where you will be able to find all jobs you've been invited to as part of the hiring team. On the left hand side, you can always see your job ad titles. Then you can see stages and how many candidates you have in each of them. You can see when the job was created, what location it was created for and who the main recruiter is. When you're hovering over the jobs, you can also do some actions from there. Firstly, you can copy a job and use the same content from there to create a completely new job. You can view the Promote tab, where you can see all the job boards that your job is currently getting sent to. You can view some job-specific analytics, view your job ad, as well as edit your job ad. If you have a longer jobs list than mine, behind the Filters tab, you will also be able to find some filtering options. Next, let's go have a look at a job and what we can see inside. When you first land inside a job, you will be able to see the recruitment process and the stages that the main recruiters have set up. Keep in mind that these stages can be different from job to job as they are fully customizable. On the right hand side, you will find some actions that you can take. Firstly, in the pink plus button, you can manually add candidates into a job if you, for example, get a manual application. You can simply drag their resume here and the basic details will auto-populate. 
In the comments section, you will find a collaboration forum where your hiring team can communicate with one another with anything to do about the job. You will also be able to do some bulk actions with candidates, which I can show you a little bit later on. And you will also be able to find some triggers, which are automation functions that will happen automatically when a candidate is moved to a certain stage that has active triggers. To move candidates inside your jobs process, you can do it either by simply dragging and dropping them from one stage to another. You can also do that action in bulk. When you click onto the bulk select button, you'll be able to either select individual candidates or you can also select a whole stage. From there, the actions that you can do in bulk are to compare candidates, which will open up a view where you can see their details side by side. With the move function, you can move candidates from one stage to another in bulk. You can send them messages. You can share candidates with external members that may not have access to the Team Taylor platform. You can add them to another job if you feel that they would be more fitting to that one. And you can, for example, also bulk reject candidates. Now let's have a look at a candidate's profile. When you click onto their name, you will see that the candidate card will pop up. On the left hand side, you will always be able to find their personal details, as well as any questions that they may have answered to at the application stage. If they have also submitted a resume, you will be able to find it here. On the right hand side of the candidates card, you will be able to firstly see all the activity that has been done and when it has been done. You can leave either candidate specific comments or job specific comments. If you want to see some comments that maybe another hiring manager has left in another jobs process, you can filter on that from the top here. In the to-do section of your job ad, you will be able to assign some tasks either for yourself or someone else from your hiring team. If, for example, you would like to remind them to invite this candidate for an interview, you will simply be able to assign a user from down here and also select when this task should be done by. Next, in the interview section, you will be able to find what we call interview kits. These are so-called questionnaires that maybe your recruiters have added as part of the job to help you through your interviews. You will simply be able to answer the questions in here as well as submit some skill and trait evaluations. In the last section, you will find the messages tab where you can send actual emails to the candidates. Once they respond to you, you will also receive their responses in this very same tab. On the black action bar that you can find on the bottom left hand side, you will be able to find the same actions as you can on the right hand side. But if you click onto the three dots here, you'll also be able to find some additional actions that you can do with this candidate. However, today we will focus on how you can book a meeting. To book a meeting with the candidate, when you click onto the book meeting tab, you'll be able to firstly choose what kind of a message you want to send with the meeting invite. You can always work with some pre-existing message templates that you may have in the system. From there, you can customize the title for your message, select which team members should be attending this meeting, who the main organizer is, which location it's going to be held in. Here you'll also be able to find some of the video services that you may have connected when you connected your calendar. You can either then let the candidate self-schedule a time or you can also set a specific time with the candidates. If you want to be a little bit more in control of what kind of self-scheduling times you want to send to the candidates, you can click onto the calendar view. On the calendar view, you will be able to customize how many time slots you want to send to the candidates and when you want to send them. You can simply click onto the calendar and select the times that you are going to send. 
In the interview kit section, you can also link a specific interview kit that you are going to want to use during this interview. And lastly, you will have the option to set up some reminders, both to the candidates as well as to yourself about filling in the interview feedback. Once you send the booking form, you can see a summary of your meeting and the meeting will also appear here on the left hand side of the candidates card so you can always keep track of the status of it. Once you have finished going through the candidates profile and you feel that you would like to reject them, you can do that from the bottom left corner here. To reject them, you will simply need to specify a reason for that this will reflect onto the analytics in your system. From there, you can choose if you want to reject them with a message or without a message. And if you choose the message option, you can choose a template for you to use or you can completely customize the message even at this point. In addition to that, you can also set up a delay if, for example, you don't want to reject them immediately, rather maybe in a day. Once a candidate has been rejected, you will notice that they disappear from your main pipeline view, just so that they don't get mixed up with your active candidates. But you will still be able to find all of their details if you click onto the filters here and click onto the rejected site. There you will be able to find all the candidates you have rejected, also in the exact stage they were rejected in. One more thing I want to show you inside the job is the main menu here. In the activity tab, you can see everything that has been done inside this job, when it has been done and who has done it. In the promote tab, you'll be able to see all the promotions that you currently have ongoing for your job. In the calendar, you can see your upcoming meetings as well as your other team members' meetings. And in the analytics, you can find some job-specific analytics. But the last thing we will go through today is the Candidates tab where you will be able to find your candidate pool. In here, some actions that you can do is firstly, filtering your candidates. As you can see, we have quite a few filtering options for you to do. For example, if you would like to filter them using some tags that you may have added as part of the recruitment process. This will then narrow down your candidates to all the ones that have that specific tag. From there, if you would like to, you can also filter more. Then what you can do is to save this for you to use as what we call a segment. Segments are filters that you can use later on to easily find the relevant candidates. You can simply name this segment and create it. These will then be listed here on your segment section. In your segment section, you will also possibly be able to find some company segments that someone else may have created in the system, and of course, all of your own ones. These filters will also update automatically whenever you have new candidates coming in matching that filtering criteria. Inside your candidate pool, you can also manually add candidates into the Team Tailor platform. You can do it again by simply dragging their resume here on the right hand side and then their basic details will auto populate. Also, if you would like to add multiple candidates at once, you can do that by dragging multiple resumes here on the left hand side. From there, if you ever need to do some actions with the candidates that you have inside your candidate pool, you can do those actions in bulk. In the bulk select, you'll be able to find the same kind of bulk actions that you did when we had a look at them inside the job. Thank you for watching. Hope you feel that you now have the tools to get started with recruitment in Team Taylor. Remember that if you ever encounter any issues, our support team is there to help you. Happy recruiting.